Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Melanade Beauty. If you don't know who I am, my name is Angela and I love all things home decor including thrifting, DIYs, room makeovers, furniture flips, and more. If you don't know by now, those retro swivel velvet rocking chairs are making a huge comeback. And a lot of people are taking advantage of the market and selling them for huge profit. So I thought I'd test that theory and see just how much money I could make by selling one single chair. In the mix of creating this video for you all, I actually stumbled across two more chairs the exact same style. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you where I found these chairs, how I flipped them, how I staged them, and also how to take photos with just an iPhone for high quality photos that you can post on Facebook Market that'll instantly sell your furniture. As you can see, I'm sitting in one of them right now. Hopefully these will sell in a few days. We'll talk about this set a little later but for now let's get started now the simple trick to upgrading these chairs is by simply ripping off that grandma skirt that you see at the bottom of the chair i figured out how to rip them off by actually watching fellow youtubers like jamie and sarah and furniture flipping teacher i watch their videos all the time and i'm completely obsessed so i thought i'd go ahead and try to see if i could do this on my own so i found this chair at goodwill and it was $25 originally I thought absolutely not I'm not paying $25 at a Goodwill for this chair I left Goodwill and literally like 20 minutes before they close I drove over there really quickly brought her home and here she is with this very beautiful um, blush velvet color but this skirt is just not it so I'm going to be ripping her off it's actually in very good condition still with original tags absolutely no stains or rips anywhere so I think this is a good steal So I just grabbed several tools that I'll possibly be needing during this process. So I'm gonna start by flipping the chair on its back side so I could figure out a way to get inside under that skirt where I could rip it off seamlessly. Now I'm gonna be using the screwdriver to kind of pry up some of the staples as you see here. Now that I have that gap opening, I'm gonna be able to just take my scissors and rip or cut right directly through that. Now that it's cut in two pieces, I can just start ripping these staples down the sides all around. In the beginning, I was very cautious and I didn't want to really rip that hard because I was scared it was going to damage the material on the chair. But after a little bit of practice, I realized that it's very simple. The staples come out easily. Well, sometimes I may have to go in like here with the little wrench and um, just pry up some staples that got left behind that didn't come with the skirt. And while I have access to the swivel, I'm going to give it a good cleaning and wipe down from any dust and hair that I see on it. And also I'm going to be vacuuming the entire chair just to make sure there are no lint, no hair, just flawless. Now the one thing that did bother me, once the skirt was ripped, you could see the wood where this material was stapled and I just didn't like seeing the staples like that so I decided to take some scrap fabric from the remaining skirts that were ripped off and I'm going to be just covering up that part of the chair to make it a more seamless look.
Now to do this, I'm just going to be taking the material, flipping it upside down, and then stapling it so that way when it flips back over, it'll be a clean, seamless line. And then I'm going to be stapling it underneath of that wood so you don't see any staples. And I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side. And to style this chair, I'm going to be using this very textured neutral rug that I picked up from Marshalls. I think I'm going to stick with a bohemian neutral style for this look and just have that blush pink chair as the very bold pop of color. So I'm also going to be using this rattan stool from Target. And because it's a single chair, I think I'm going to go for a like reading nook style. So I'm going to be adding these minimal looking books from Dollar Tree actually in their book section. And to add a little bit of interest, I'm going to be adding this metallic brassy color candle as well as natural wooden beads. And of course, it's not a bohemian corner if you do not add a plant. So I added this cute snake plant. And to give the chair a little bit of coziness feel, I'm adding this faux fur plush coat. It's actually a jacket, but I'm using it as a throw blanket. And here is this beautiful chair staged and ready for photos. The key to staging furniture is to stage in a way where your buyer can relate to the scene. So this is a cute reading nook. It's cozy and inviting. So here I'm just taking out my phone and in my camera app, I'm going to be using the portrait mode. I actually go between the photo and portrait mode just to get different shots, but I really like the portrait mode because it can really zoom and get all of those details and features in a high definition. I'm also going to be using a filter. I'm not going to try to alter the color or the photo as much, but I do believe using this vivid filter really brings out the color color and light of the photos without it it's just really dull and not that appealing but I'm not going to alter it too much because I want people to see the true color of these chairs so I'm just going to be using the AEAF I think yeah the AEAF lock just to brighten or dim any um areas that I have to if it's see how this like faux fur is like way too high and bright I can bring that down I'm also going to take photos of you know places that I did some work on just to make sure that my buyer knows exactly what they're getting and I'm taking pictures of the corners and just different angles as you see I am very low on the ground that is the more professional look when you're taking photos versus taking them while you're standing up So instead of Facebook Market, I sold it on Craigslist. 
although I did have it posted on Facebook Market as well, but I got a hit quicker on Craigslist. And so we met and I actually sold the chair for $160. My original post was for $175, but it still turned out pretty good. Um, here is a breakdown of my profit. So I bought the chair for $25, sold for $160, my profit was $135. So in the mix of trying to create this video and post it, I stumbled across two more chairs that look exactly like the one that I just sold. And I got them pretty good price and they're beautiful stunning pretty i can't wait to stage them together as a set i just wanted to let you know that this this literally all just happened <laughs> like as i was trying to create this video so so this particular person was selling their chairs for 60 dollars each or 100 for both I ended up getting them for $25 each, so the same price as before. And at first I was kind of skeptical. I didn't think that, you know, they would be good. But when I saw these in person, they were absolutely stunning, gorgeous, and pretty. The material is so plush and soft, and the color is very just everything and they are almost in like mint condition the only thing is one chair has a little stain on the skirt but i'm gonna be ripping that off anyway so it just turned out perfect so now that i have two more of these chairs i'm so excited to get them on the market for sale and just see how quickly these can sell So right off the bat, I realized that these chairs were made pretty good and it was kind of difficult to get in there to find a way to, you know, cut the skirt off. And then even when I had my entryway, it was really tough ripping them out. They were like really in there. So this did take me a little bit more time than the last one. And to style these chairs, I kept it the same. So very bohemian neutral look with lots of plants and you know, minimal decor, such as this floor poof and this bamboo purse sitting on top of her tan stool. So I'm gonna say my investment for these chairs were a total of $60 because I bought the pair for 50, but I did have to travel. So I added an additional $10 for gas. And I'm not sure quite how much I want to sell them for just yet. I'm hoping to get them for at least $300, maybe $150 a piece. So I will definitely keep you all posted on when I sell these chairs and how much I sold them for. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this content. I enjoyed showing you guys, you know, the behind the scenes, step by step of how I stage and flip my furniture. So if you wanna see more videos like this, please leave a comment down below and give me your feedback as well as hitting that subscribe button. Also, I would love to see your very own retro furniture or upcycled flips, furniture flips. So please tag me on Instagram at melanade underscore beauty. I would love to see your photos and hopefully this video helps you. And if it did not, I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. So until next time. <laughs>